And I got a couple of very uh, happy Christies down here with me. Drummond as well, but uh, Linford, before we talk to your dad, let's have a word with you. I mean, that was pretty emphatic, wasn't it? Oh, well, definitely. I mean, I knew I had to get out. John, John Jarwin got a, a lightning start, and, you know, I was just following him. But saying, I mean, this isn't the beginning or the end of anything. I mean, we've still got Stuttgart to go. This is just a stepping stone towards it. And, you know, we'll have to forget this in about five or ten minutes. It's, so, I don't think you will, actually. I don't think millions of people out there will forget it. But how significant really is this victory for you after all this time, Linford? Well, it's, it's not really, you know, I wouldn't say it's significant because, you know, Carl's a world champion. He's won a lot of things. So, I mean, this, for him, I mean, he's been through all this before many times and we've got to do it again in Stuttgart. So, as I say, it's a stepping stone towards what's going to happen. Um, just before we, we have, I think Carl Lewis is about to join us, actually. Carl's just going to come in. Carl. Thanks very much for joining us. Uh, first of all, before we see the race again, you were unhappy about something. Just what was it? At the end? No, we, we thought you seemed to be unhappy, disturbed, and were complaining about something at the end. No, not really. Everything was fine. Oh. Yeah, it's fine. I mean, it, it would have been nice to have been a little warmer and drier, but it was fine. No, everybody it was very nice here. Oh, good. No complaints about your block slipping or anything like that? No, they didn't, block, they didn't slip or anything. I didn't do anything out of them, but they didn't slip. Okay. Before we see the race, Mr. Christie, give us a dad's view of what your boy did here today. Oh, he's great. <laughs> he's great. He's the king. <laughs> oh, so, well, in my dad's eyes, I'm the king. <laughs> <laughs> if he's not the king for you, he isn't the king for anybody, is he, really? That's right, and the entire world is watching him. How I'm nervous were you before the race? I wasn't. A lot of people nervous, but I never nervous. OK. Let's just have another look at it. James Drummond, we haven't heard from you so far. You surprised a lot of people. Um, just give us, give us a, a quick thought about how things went from your, your point of view. John Drummond, sorry. Well, I, I was um, anticipating a great start today. And all I wanted to do was stay strong through the last part of my race. I've been having trouble with that. I knew Linford and Carl, you know, because of their last uh, half of the race surges was going to come. I just wanted to stay in, under control, keep my rhythm all the way through. I didn't think Linford was that close throughout the race, but he made that surge that last 20, 10, 20 meters. And I just held on best I could. And hey, I mean, he won the race. Carl, you're a, real, a realist. A bit disappointed by the way you've run here tonight? Well, I would have liked to have mechanically run a lot better. I didn't really do what I had to do out of the blocks, but... You know, I'll be over here, we have a few more weeks and, and I'll have some things to tune on and I'll be ready in a couple of weeks. Uh -huh. Any reasons why it just wasn't there for you tonight? Well, I mean, I'm not going to give any excuses because it's easy to say that. Uh, Linford ran a great race, John ran a great race. This race is over and done now. Right. The main thing is that we're, we're happy about it. You know, it was, it was a great race for the sport and I'm glad everything worked out this way. So now we have to look to the next stage. Um, if I've been through this situation a lot, so I know what I have to do to prepare. That victory, though, despite what you've been saying, just looking at your face there and looking at your reactions at the end of it, no, uh, Linford. Uh, was it, you, you reckon, <laughs> was it relief? It was really. I mean, I you see, a lot of people, then they build the race, you know, a great deal. And, you know, at the end of the day, I mean, it was just relief because there was a lot of pressure out not just, you know, myself and Carl. But, you know, as I say, I mean, we both know what we've got to do now. Stuttgart's coming up. And, you know, Carl lost this. So if he wins in Stuttgart, he's the king. Sure. So, I mean, we got to forget this and look forward to, you know, the future, what's coming on now. Okay. Well, 10.08, uh, your time here, and in the, in the conditions, uh, Linford, that, that's, that's pretty useful. Well, for me it is. You know, the gym this year, I mean, I've been injured, but I'm running a lot more consistent. I'm running the better half. And I said, I mean, the injury I thought was a blessing in disguise, and things are going really, really Let's well Let's just go me. very quickly. Uh, you're going to do it in Stuttgart as well? Well, I mean, if I said no, then you'll say, oh, you know. What are you going to say, Dad? <laughs> Well, I would like to be at Stuttgart to, to watch him. Oh, no, uh, <laughs> Carl, your feelings, your feelings about Stuttgart now? Well, I think the main thing for all of us is that um, we're going. everyone's confidence will be there. And, and like I said, I know what I have to do to get ready for that meet. But I think that'll be the best race of the year, and the best people will be there ready to run. I think you two boys have been pretty dignified about the whole thing, actually. It might be nice to see, it, see your handshake. Very well done. Thanks very much indeed for, for, for joining us. You too, John, as well. Appreciate it. Good stuff. I want to say thanks to Lefford and Carl for inviting me to the party. You said it, and you played a big part in the party as well. There we go then, the party just about finishing here.